Hello! Well, I did something exciting this morning, something I've never done before. I ran in the snow and ice. It is snowy and icy here in Washington State in the United States of America. And it is January 1st, the New Year's Day of 2022. And um, I wanted to start off the New Year's right with a workout, which I haven't done all week because it's been snowing and crazy snow all week. So um, it's Saturday, which is my long run day with my Chihuahua dog, Ginger. And so I prepared myself mentally. I mapped out a map, which I, I, a route, which I did not end up using, but it got me excited. And then I watched a video by Hella Good on winter running tips, which were, was awesome. And then I got on all my layers, which is a different video and um, tried for the very first time these nano spikes by a company called Katula. Katula. Here's the box. And these are in particular made for running shoes. They have other ones. I have other ones I've never used. This is the very first day I opened them and used them. So this is my very first try. Um, I have another pair, which I think are for hiking boots, and they're um, really intense spikes, which I haven't tried yet. So this was my first try, and these are made specifically for running shoes. I got them, I got them at REI. I bought them with my own money. I'm not sponsored. This is my own my own uh, dollars and cents. And I got them two or three years ago in pre preparation for the next snow and ice storm because it was really bad that year. It was horrible ice. It was terrible. I was just walking my dog around the neighborhood and it was ter It was death defying. So I was like, never again. And that next year I went out to REI and I bought myself spikes in preparation for the next time. And this is the very first time I used them. So um, I bought them in the size medium and in the color blue because blue is my favorite color to wear. And I got them in medium. They're uh, unisex and they come in extra small, small, medium, large, medium, extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. And they weigh 7.5 to 8.3 ounces and they are tungsted curbide a warranty of one year which is now passed because it's been more than that <laughs> they're for running and walking on hard icy surfaces and um oh the spike material is tungsten carbide nano spikes this is the nano spikes the other one is micro spikes which is stainless steel bigger spikes. They're two year warranty for hiking, trail running and ice fishing, which I've never opened. They're in the back. So anyway, this is the nano spikes and I've never tried running. So what I did is I took out my favorite pair of trail running shoes, which is my Hoka One One, which is now called just Hoka. These are Speed Goat 4s, I think. They're my favorite model. I took an old pair that are worn out because it's snowy out. So I don't need my new pair for the snow and ice. And I put them on my Hoka Speed Goat shoes, trail running shoes, whatever running shoes you want to use. Um, these are mildly uh, waterproof, which I really love for the winter and rainy seasons. So I put them on first and then I took out the I opened the package and took out the nano spikes. Now they came in a little bag. They come with a bag, a little bag, and some instructions, which are just diagrams. And what I mostly did is looked at the picture to see which way they go. So the big part is on the front and the smaller part is on the heel. So I used that because they came kind of folded up like this. They're a really tough rubber. 
and they're very thick and very tough and the bottom is very tough rubber and plastic with these spikes one two three four this is the heel plate and here is the toe plate one two three four five six spikes on the toe so they're they are made uh, for your size so you want to get the right size and it shows you on the box what to get so i had my shoes both of them on it was much a little easier but it's a little tough and then you slip them it's a little tough not bad but you slip them over your shoe when it's on and you pull oh that's why it's easier when it's on because it's really tough like this pull them over the bottom of your shoe reminds me of ice skates or something um so these are on and you pull them and then you well this is the only the first time i've done so i'm not an expert but i pulled them and i organized them so that the straps were centered over the toe and then i looked at the back to make sure they were centered on the back and then uh, i looked at the heel to make sure they were centered over the heel and these need to be pulled up more oops it's tough but it's really stretchy and there it is on my running shoe so it's a perfect perfect fit i mean it was hard to get on so um so that's what it looks like here's the heel plate here's the toe plate here's the spikes on the toe plate and here's the spikes on the heel plate it's held together by these i'm assuming stainless steel linkages and there you go and um that's what it looks like i got them blue like i said the other color three years ago was black blue and black so i just got blue to match my running shoes i might have gotten black for the um, hiking boots so there's my shoe without and then i just took them off i should have shown you and there it is so um my experience was that i ran in the middle of the street <laughs> on the hard packed snow and also ice and i just took small steps as i did my little training run of 20 minute training run and i never once slipped i just i just was really slow and purposeful with my uh kind of stride right on to the spike so i wouldn't be slipping so i just took short strides right onto the ice right on the packed snow never once slipped and had a really fun winter run it was really fun so i don't know how it well we'll see if it first of all i can tend towards plantar fasciitis which is why i wear hokas and um i don't know if my feet are going to hurt tomorrow it didn't seem to hurt plus the snow is cushiony so hopefully it won't hurt i did notice when i returned i was doing my cool down walk back home that I could feel um, one of the chains on my toe. So um, I don't know if for a longer trip, if it would eventually kind of feel pinchy or if I put um, other shoes that are a harder toe and then I wouldn't feel them, but I don't know. They were comfortable for the 20 minute short run and the 10 minute cool up and cool down so they were super comfortable and it was super fun so that's my review of my first ever winter cold snow and ice run with the nano spikes for running by katula and the reason why i do this video is because i have never done that before never and i didn't even know if it was possible i was like how do people run in the snow and what kind of shoes do they wear? I also have these um, other, I have hiking boots, I have 
um, these hokas with um, kind of a ankle heel and I wasn't sure whether to wear those. So I was watching videos to see what other people do and how other people wear their shoes like I have. And um, I just came up with this combination and it was fantastic. So I recommend it for anybody to try. Okay, have a great new year. Have a fun run in the snow and ice. Be very careful and purposeful and um, slow. And it was great. Okay, bye.